On behalf of the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, I am pleased, I am beaming with pride to be here to celebrate with these 25 remarkable teens, the 14 females and 11 males, who tonight have been placed on a pedestal, not for their own self-aggrandizement, but for the purpose of encouraging them and acknowledging their achievements, be they scholastic, in the area of spiritual growth and development, in terms of sportsmanship, community development, etc. What they have achieved at their tender ages is nothing short but remarkable, a word that we have used so much this evening. But it's also an indication that we are basically blessing them with achieving even more. Because I believe in a St. Kitts and Nevis where people are only limited by how far they can dream. And it is for these young people and others who can look up to them to determine where that rainbow is going to end for them. I congratulate all of them for the demonstration of patriotism this evening. It was, it was evident in the attempt at showcasing our national colors, but primarily the color white, which is a symbol of hope and a symbol of purity. And it couldn't be more apt because that color white on a youth represents our future and our hope. So we congratulate them for that. I also would wish to congratulate the parents without whom these children could not have made it this far. Only you know the extent of sacrifice, headache, prayer, courage, bruised knees that you would have experienced over time in terms of keeping your children on a path that unfortunately those of other people did not go down. It is your job to be your children's best role model and their greatest hero. Never substitute that job to anybody else. That is your job and it is your privilege. As I looked at each of them go up this evening to receive their award, it took me back to a day in my English class at sixth form with my teacher Gwen Nisbet, where we were at the time pondering the poetry of the romantic poet, the British romantic poet William Wordsworth, who basically um, we were covering mainly because of his extensive poem on the prelude. But at that time we also had the opportunity to look at comparatively some of his other works of poetry. And one of those pieces was a poem, My Heart Leaps Up. Short poem, I don't even think it was as long as a sonnet, being 16 lines, but there was one line in it that stuck out, and it was a paradox. And that word, that line rather, was that the child is the father of the man. It is a striking paradox, but it tells us that basically where we are now is a great predictor of where we will end up tomorrow. And I am heartened by the fact that all of these young people who we honor here this evening, and those they would have given opportunity to have their lifestyle emulated by, will look to the fact that where they are now is very much an indication of the type of brilliant future that is in store for them. So again, I congratulate all of them, their parents, their mentors, and at the same time, I congratulate Pierre Leibard and his counterparts in Nevis from the various departments of sport. And I also congratulate the leadership of Sean K. Richards as the Minister of Youth, because his presence has been meaningful and emphatic throughout the two plus years of this current administration. So I do congratulate him as well for that leadership. And I do wish each and every one of you a very pleasant evening and journeying mercies back to your respective homes. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. and watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.